Okay, so the next part that we're gonna do, it will be the piston rod. So I'm gonna create, once again, a new component. Um, this will be the connecting rod. Although we can make this in a separate part as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, so let's just do that real quick. So we can make a new part, right? And then we can import this one as well. So I can make a new part and this will be from here, can create a new component, but you can have sub assemblies. So this will be pissed uh, connecting rod. And you can see, I'm, I'm in like in a different, you can don't do it in the same one, doesn't really matter, but we'll, we'll show you what we're gonna do in a little bit. So let's do uh, create a sketch on the front plane. This is for the connecting rod. So let's create two, two circles. So make sure that they're coming from the center. You can see that line appears. This one will have a diameter of 25. And I'm gonna make another circle with a diameter, a concentric circle with a diameter of 50. And then if I go down, once again, from the center, I'll make another circle with a diameter of 50 and another one with a diameter of, let me just check real quick, 75. Okay, so those are my diameters. Uh, we are gonna connect them with two lines coming from this circle. So look for a point where it's some, somewhere around here, where it is um, tension like that. So somewhere around here, you can see it's snapping at the same height and we'll push it straight and we'll snap it here. Good, so this distance, from center to this center, this will be 150. I got 150 millimeters. Um, okay, so we need to add a couple other things. So we're gonna add a slot. So center, center slot, a snapping somewhere in the middle like that and like this. So this one, the width for this one, will be um, 15, like that. We can click here and press coincident with the center, so that way it's center. So from this line to this line, you can also have 15. And from this line to this line, it will also be 15, so that the total is a distance of 30. Okay, so this radius, of course, it's 7.5, right? Because the width is 15. And we have a length, so from this center of the slot to this part, this will be 45 millimeters. Make And then from here to here, so the length of the slot will be actually 69 millimeters, making from here to here a driven dimension of 36, what was on driven, but yeah, just to, to mark it. Um, all right, so I think we have all the dimensions like this um, for the main part of this. So what I'll do is I'm also gonna add a line that runs across the center like that. Okay, good. So I think we have all the measurements set. So what I'll do now is I will just finish the sketch and I will extrude this. So I'm gonna select um, this part, this part, this part here, everything here, like this. Well, not that part. And this will give it a extrusion, a symmetric extrusion of 20. So we're gonna go over here, whole length. And the whole length will be 20, like that. Okay, so what I'll do right now is I'm gonna open that one, open over here, go to sketches, make the visible, and I'm going to extrude this face, also symmetric, hold length, 30. Good. And you can see the sketch is still there. I think I will edit, edit the first one, so right click edit feature, 
And I want to deselect that middle part. Okay, so that way we have the hole. And what we'll see that one, I'm going to do a new extrude. Select that center part. Do also two-sided hole length, 10 millimeters. That way this kind of like a, you know, kind of like a, a cut in there. So I can turn off the sketch and this is almost done with this part. We're still gonna do a couple more fillets, um, but we're gonna do part for the screws. So what I'll do right now is I'm gonna go uh, create a new sketch. We're gonna create a new sketch on this bottom face like that. And we are going to make a circle coming from the center on this point, the snapping, and it will be, um, 25, I believe. No, 25 is too much. This will be 16. Yeah, there you go, 16. And it will be 16 like that. We're gonna have two lines over here connecting back. And now you can see how that, that line is tangent from this point to this point tangent. And we are going to extrude that, so finish the sketch. And we are going to extrude both of these parts going up, or this part too, uh, distance of 25. So in this case, mine is going negative 25. You may be positive 25. Oh, this is not cutting, it should be joining. So all of those three, negative 25, and it will be join. Okay. So this is how it's going to look. 25 like that and we have to make another one so we'll mirror it once we have the thing so what i'll do right now is i'm going to make a sketch over here in the bottom as well that's another circle from the center the size doesn't matter i won't put just 10 but the size doesn't matter finish the sketch i'm going to make a hole and i'm going to be making this Selecting that center for the hole. And I'm gonna select over here some of the changes. So we're gonna do um, taps over here. The It will be, instead of M25, the size will be 12, M12, so 12 millimeters. 12, 175, 6H, yeah, so isometric, size 12, M12, 1.75, 6H, right hand, tap hole. Uh, we can do flat, and let's see, okay. Yep, there we go, we made our hole. And now we are going to mirror that out. So let's go over here, mirror, uh, we're gonna select, features, so it will be that, and the cut, the mirror plane will be this one, and okay, and there we go. We have our two drill holes like this, and now we're just gonna add some of the fillets. All right, so for fillet, we're gonna fillet this face, so this one, this one, this one, this curve, this curve, this inner curve, and the same faces in the back. So this curve, this, or this edge, this edge, inner edge, this curve, this curve, two millimeters. And then last fillets will be this part and this part, and we'll do one millimeter. There we go. So this is our connecting rod. So I'm going to save that one. Uh, once again, we need to change some, uh, add the properties. So for this one, don't forget to add the names. All right, so go to the part. So right click, physical material. Add the material for this one, which is uh, steel ASI 4340. 350 VQT. So let's go physical material, steel. 
So let's do ASI 4340. So 4340 50 BQT. That's all the specifications. So like that. And we can also change the appearance. We add a color to this. We still gotta make the other part, but for this is for it. So okay, so to make my new assembly or to make my new to make my new part, you can see that we are here on the connecting rod. So and before I make a new component, I'm gonna go over here, click the main assembly, make sure that, that main assembly is active. And here I'm going to create a new component. And this will be connecting rod tap. Okay, it is now part of the main component. And I will start making my part from here. So I'm gonna go over here, just go to the sketches. I need them on for now, this main sketch. Uh, okay, I will be making a new sketch on the front face. And I will do click on create project project and I can include. So I'm going to select on this circle. I'm going to show the sketch open. Click on this circle, press OK. And now I can toggle off that part. So using this circle, we're going to make our bottom part. So let's just, this circle was supposed to be 50. So let's just make one more that's 75, like that. Let's make our middle center line, like this. And, okay, so let's finish the sketch. And now from here, we're going to extrude, select this bottom half, go to profile, or go to asymmetric, right? And this will be whole. I want it 20. Okay. All right. And then we just have to do the other part. So once again, go to sketch this top part, make the similar circle, just like we did in the last one. So here, 16, right? And can make the lines here, lines here. Awesome. And finish the sketch. Or well, we can make another circle in the meantime. So I'll make this one uh, 10 millimeters just for now. Escape, or I didn't make it. All right, doesn't matter. Finish the sketch. And we are going to extrude you know, basically everything going down and it will be a distance of 15 or negative 15 for me. Oh, oh, and it's not cut. Once again, I have to redo it so it's not cut. It's extrude, select this face, all of the faces, negative 15 and instead of cut, join. That makes two. Okay. Okay, so we're here in hours. So let's make another sketch so on this face. Let's make a circle. Make sure you guys cross the center. Let's do it 16 as well. And in this case, we are going to extrude a little bit up, so make a cut. So through the circle, uh, we can drag it or make sure you select both faces. Uh, so we can cut it, this face, this face, just go up, it doesn't matter, and it's going to cut it. There we go. And then afterwards, we're just going to make our holes again to close this. Um, so let's make our, our hole. We can select our face over here. All right. Use that one and use this as the reference. There we go, so it's center. And what was the one that we had? So yeah, same one as before, 12, 12.5, 12 six like that, right hand, okay. And in this case, we gotta do edit all throughout. So the distance, since all the way out, there we go. So we have that part. 
And now let's mirror that part. So once again, go to mirror. Select this part, this inside, and also the cut. And we'll mirror that around. So the plane might be really high up. This one. Okay. And yeah, we have the cut and everything here. Uh, we can add a couple of fillets to this part. Um, so let's just add a quick fillet if you want on this edge and this edge of one millimeter, if you feel like it. Uh, well, actually, no, there won't be any fillets in there because that part holds the bolt, so there's no fillet. So this is my main part. This is already made like that. And this is my connecting rod assembly. So I will add the properties, change the name, and I will save this connecting um, rod sub assembly. This look right, so it's saved. And then we can see all my parts that are open. So this one and this one. And if I go to the main part, you can see, there we go. I can turn off the visibility of the sketches. Okay, so yes, this is our part. So what I'll do right now, it's saved. So um, we can go over here and, you know, just re-edit. I'm sure that you click here in this one to open that one. And we can add some fillets to this face and this face and then this one and that one just for aesthetics and this will be a one millimeter there we go and now we can go back to the main assembly and you know just save it again actually for the other one i think i'll re might reduce the fillet you know you can keep it at two keep it at one I think I'll probably reduce it in a, a different video. So just stay tuned uh, to where I might be changing some of the stuff. But for sure, this one is A2. All right. So thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video.